Good morning, everyone. I am Bradley Rosa, Executive Director of the Broward County Bar Association. It's my honor and privilege today uh, to be interviewing General Magistrate Rudy Morrell of the 17th Judicial Circuit. We're going to be talking a little bit about drug court. Uh, we are honoring and recognizing the folks at drug court, Judge Ari Porth and Judge Michelle Tobin Singer. Welcome, General Magistrate Morrell. Thank you. Good to be here, Mr. Wonderful. Mr. Why do you think it's important for the 17th Judicial Circuit to have a drug court program? Drug courts improve the community. Um, they do that by helping or enabling uh, offenders to achieve sobriety. But drug courts aren't limited to just that. They also, as treatment courts, as problem solving courts, also offer housing to individuals who need that. Um, they uh, offer provider services and mental health, medical. Um, they offer specialized uh, treatment programs uh, like uh, anger management, uh, trauma-related services. Uh, they are truly um, you know, holistic in their approach to improving lives of the offenders and in so doing, improve the communities. Uh, before the uh, interview, we were actually talking and a uh, great story you told me about a little bit. Uh, so why don't you elaborate that? Can you can you talk a little bit about uh, your fondest memory of appearing before Judge Michelle Tobin Singer? Yes, it was the last time that I had to go before her prior to my graduation. And she came down off of the bench and she gave me a hug and my daughter a hug. And that was very special because when I first stepped into her courtroom, I was pregnant with my daughter. So she saved both of our lives. Talking about temperament, elaborate, talk a little bit more about him. I know Judge Porth, uh, he's just a wonderful human being. So I know how pleasant and kind he is, but you've known him longer. Talk, talk a little bit about it. You know, I, everything from, you know, I, I built a relationship with Ari about a decade ago. Judge Porth, I apologize. I got to we'll keep it formal for the purpose of celebrating uh, the, the judge. But for even before he was in the role as a judge, he is when he was in the state legislator, when he was a state attorney, he has focused his entire career on helping people, helping legislation to help our kids, helping in the drug court system to help our struggling members of our community. So this is a role that's not foreign to him. It's actually very fitting for him. Uh, I couldn't him, imagine him in any other role, but for, you know, I, I, I like to call it sometimes, it's probably a bad moniker, but he's a, a social worker type of judge. He's a judge that will go out of his way to make a connection, to find a connection, to help somebody. And he has built his entire career doing that. So it, 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 on a temperament front, it takes a special kind of person to do that, to acknowledge that there's obstacles and there's struggles and to be willing to continue to work with somebody to help them succeed. Before we were, we were on uh, live here, we were talking and you had mentioned that you had appeared in front of both Judge Porth and Judge Tobin Singer. And so can you tell me a little bit about one of your best memories uh, of appearing in front of both of them, both examples, please. Absolutely, Judge Tobin Singer and Judge Porth are two of the very best judges in our entire court system. Uh, we have great judges, of course, uh, but those two individuals, in my opinion, were called to be in drug court. They are just perfect for that position because of their empathy, their compassion, how much they care. I remember being in Judge Tobin Singer's courtroom and walking in, and there were a whole bunch of students that came in for a field trip. And the judge contacted me and said, please come, please join us. And she explained to these young people with such love about what we do in drug court and how we try to help people because addiction is a disease and it needs to be treated differently than a, you know, a different type of a criminal charge. So my memory with Judge Michelle Tobin Singer is how the children loved her and the smile that she had on her face to educate them. It was really a beautiful thing. And then once 
I was even blessed to bring my two children in to her courtroom and we took a beautiful picture together. I think she's just an amazing judge. And with Judge Ari Porth, I have many beautiful memories as well. Uh, whenever I'd be a little down and I would walk into his courtroom, his beautiful smile would uplift me. He's got such a way about him. He makes you feel good. I just love Judge Ari Porth. He's the perfect person for that position. He's a great listener. He's really concerned about people's well-being. And my unique memory, uh, there's so many, but one that comes to mind is whenever I stood in front of his courtroom to advocate for one of our clients at the James Club, he would always offer me, and many, a cup of coffee. And I thought that was so beautiful. So I remember his generosity, his, his, his compassion, and uh, he's just an amazing judge in drug court. I am today. So talking about second chances and uh, assistance, uh, talk about one of your fondest memories or, or good memory of appearing in front of Judge Tobin Singer. Um, one of my best times appearing in front of her was when I had had a year clean and I got to present her and show her my year coin. Um, and just the pride in her face, you know, and the feeling that I got from her that she really legitimately cared. Like she wasn't just sitting up there saying, oh, good for you. Like she really was, she was so happy for me because she has seen my transition from, you know, the broken girl who came in to the girl who's standing up there with confidence. Well, talking about, uh, you know, support, love and all of that. Can you, can you describe a little bit one of your fondest memories of appearing before Judge Porth? One of my fondest memories of appearing before Judge Porth actually has a little bit of a sad note to it. Um, I was representing a client, uh, his name was Justin, and he was doing pretty well in drug court. And unfortunately, uh, Justin's addiction got the best of him and he passed away from an overdose. But Justin's mom was extremely involved in his life and his attempts at recovery. And Justin's mother would come to court every time. And on the time that she came to inform us that Justin had passed away, Judge Porth allowed her to address the entire drug court audience that was there uh, that day for court. And it was so kind of him to allow her to speak to everybody. And her words had such a huge, huge impact on the people in drug court that day that people came up to me afterwards and wanted to talk to her more. They wanted her phone number. And it was truly because of Judge Porth's kindness that he allowed her to do this. And it was therapeutic for her. It was therapeutic for everybody there. And it just showed to me the absolute incredible person that Judge Porth is.